Welcome back to the MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. In lesson 2.4, we explore the various reports on MS Project. The topics covered include reports, visual reports, and comparing projects. MS Project 2010 provides to project managers various options in generating and printing reports. To see that, we first go to project and from there choose reports. It gives us a big number of options for the different kinds of reports. For example, if let us say we choose overview. So it shows project summary, top level tasks, critical tasks, milestones and working days. Let us say we take project summary and select that. Project summary displays the main information about projects like the key dates, the work, duration, cost, etc. Let us go back and try another kind of report. So from overview, we can take the next one like maybe top level tasks. Top level tasks show the summary tasks at the highest level of the project as of today's date. So it shows information regarding the work required to complete each task as per today's date. Now when we open any report view, we see that the print options also come parallelly side by side. So we can directly mention the number of copies we want, choose the printer that we want and give the settings for which from which date to which date of the project do we want it to be printed then the orientation as landscape or portrait and the paper size going back to the other kinds of reports in overview the other options are critical tasks which display the status of tasks on the critical path of the project then there are milestone based reports these display information about the milestones which are listed in the project schedule working days which display the working days and time of for your project based on the calendar working times exceptions and exclusions If we look at the current activity, it shows unstarted tasks which display information for tasks that have not yet started or ordered by a scheduled start date, tasks starting soon which displays duration, start and finish dates, predecessors, resources etc. for tasks within a certain date range parameter and the completed tasks are shown highlighted with a tick. Tasks in progress which show information for tasks that have started but not yet been completed that is they are in progress. Completed tasks for information for tasks which are 100% complete should have started tasks. This displays information regarding planned start and finish dates, baseline start and finish dates and variances and information about any successors. For this a project baseline is mandatory for this report to function. And then there are slipping tasks which display task information regarding tasks which have been rescheduled from their baseline start date. The other kind of reports can be like cost reports which show cash flow 
which display the cost for each task on a weekly basis, the budget which displays all the tasks along with their budgeted cost, actual cost, variance, etc. Over budget tasks, it shows information regarding tasks that have exceeded their budgeted amounts. Over budgeted resources, which display information about resources whose costs will exceed the baseline estimates. And earned value which compares each task planned versus the actual costs and schedule against a project baseline. The main acronyms which are used here are planned value, BCWS which is budgeted cost of work scheduled, earned value, BCWP which is budgeted cost of work performed, ACWP which is actual cost of work performed, SV schedule variance, CV cost variance, BAC budget at completion, EAC estimate at completion and VAC which is variance at completion. The other category is assignment reports which shows who does what who does what when, the to-do list and which are the over allocated resources. From workload we can display information as per task usage or resource usage. We can also customize our reports based on our specific needs from all the options which are provided by MS Project which include base calendar, budget report, cash flow, completed tasks, critical tasks and so on. Next we see options related to visual reports. We go to the project tab and click visual reports. It shows a number of formats which are available. They are classified into task usage, resource usage, assignment usage, task summary, resource summary and assignment summary. All of these reports are either generated in MS Visio or MS Excel. So we can choose the template which we want and the report gets generated based on the data of the time that we have chosen. For example, this is a report generated on Visio based on task status report. This is another report which is generated in Excel. This is a resource work summary report. The other sheet shows all the backend data which has gone into the report. The next option of reports is comparing projects. So if there are two projects or more importantly if there are two revisions to a project and we want to compare the same, we can go and click at compare projects. And the first project selected is the one which is active in the window. For the second one we can go to browse and select the project. I have made a copy of the project which is already active and made some changes in the duration and dates. And we click OK. A comparison report is being generated. So you can see here that this is the first project, this is the second project and we can compare task wise and here we have a comparison report which says that for the same activity the what was the previous duration, what is the new duration and what is the total change 
and similarly what is the current start date, what is the revised start date etc. So to summarize we have seen the various types of text reports and visual reports which can be generated in MS Project 2010. We have also seen how to compare projects. This presentation material is available on group.net. Thank you for joining us on this video tutorial series. The next part of the video tutorial series at group.net will deal with the various ways of creating a new project.